Hey Jess, how's it going? Took me a little bit to get into the stream chat here. Very weird. Hey Randy, how are you today? Uh, let me just get live reactions off here. There we go. Happy Saturday, everybody. Everybody's having a great start to your morning. Venom, good morning. I'm doing pretty good. I got a decent amount of sleep last night, which was fantastic because I had a terrible week of sleep, which is pretty much the usual. Got up this morning, threw some laundry in, went for a walk, lifted a little bit, not as much as I wanted to, but I was pretty tired and I was kind of hungry. And so then I ate, showered, got my laundry, and now I'm streaming. So I have had a productive morning. It's always nice when I get up and I like do some stuff. It always feels nice. Like I feel like better than if I just kind of like lounge around and get nothing accomplished. Sometimes the lounging around is necessary though. You gotta relax and recover. I think I woke up at like 7.50 the first time and I was like, nah. <laughs> I was like, I need a little bit more sleep. Went back to sleep to like 8.30, 8.45, something like that. Ooh, hey, a treasure map. We have no game meat? That is a travesty. I'm gonna have to fix that. I'm running low on a lot of meat because I haven't been doing a lot of hunting because I don't really like to hunt. Um, let me pull a different horse out. So my power went out last night. I was actually gonna, I wanted to stream some Fortnite last night, but my power actually went out anyway, so I wouldn't have been able to. Um, so I ended up going over to Gypsies and we watched Deadpool 2. So that was my first time seeing that. So I've now officially watched both Deadpools, guys. Deadpool 1, Deadpool 2. In anticipation of Deadpool and Wolverine in uh, July, I think it is. I don't know why I've never watched the Deadpools. Like, they are pretty hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, I'm pretty sure I got that whiskey last night. Let me take a look at some dailies and then I've got some collecting I want to finish up to finish up some sets here. Uh, we've got five blackberries picked, one finished showdown in any showdown series, two iguana skin, one jump from a horse to another horse, five perfect pelts sold, three player kills with melee and freedom events. Um, we'll skip that. One shaky mission completed. So I would do the finished showdown in any showdown series, but I'm going to skip melee kills, so I'll probably just not do either one of those. Um, two bounties brought in from Lemoyne posters, two bounties completed with at least one posse member, that one bugs out all the time, two bounty targets tagged with the tracking arrow, 20 carcasses donated within 10 minutes, 2 goods sold to a distant buyer, 7 medium animal carcasses donated to Crips, 1 antique alcohol drunk, 3 arrowheads found, 3 collectibles found with a shovel, dance for 2 minutes, sell moonshine to 2 preferred type uh, or preferred buyers, 4 moonshine served to other players, uh, 2 hardy tonics used with 2 hot or 2 cold, 2 legendary animals found using pheromones, and 1 legendary animal photographs. Not bad, not bad. I probably won't go 9 for 9, just because 1... Two, three, four, five, six. Like, there's six that are not too terrible, but to get to nine, I'll have to really work for it. I, I don't know that I want to do that. Um, 
So let's see. A good iguana spot would be off of these islands here. So let's head that way. Actually, there's a card I need first nearby. So I'm going to swing up and grab this card, and then I'll go down south. Uh, anybody have any plans this weekend? Yep. The only plan plan I had this weekend was watch Deadpool 2. And other than that, I have a quiz. I, I, I say quiz. They're, they're tests. I have a test due tomorrow, so I have to study today and tomorrow. I am not super optimistic because of the format of the tests. Um, so I'm just going to try to get a 70% or better, hopefully. Whoa. I'd like to end this class with a B if I can, but it's going to be kind of hard, I think. Mostly because the teacher just doesn't tell you the, what her grading system is. What? That little fall and you're like, come on, man. I know you're a roadster, but holy moly. I'm going to send you back to the stables to rest a little bit. Sheesh. That was rough, buddy. Hey, SC3, how's it going? Genuinely concerned for my horse. I hate when their legs are all wobbly like that. Like they look like they're dying. It makes me feel bad. I don't know that I can grab this. I might actually be full. Let's see. I wonder if that's 10. I need to get some Agarita today. Yeah, that's 10 Chocolate Daisy. Let me mark that off. Hey, morning, Hoof Girl. Uh, let's mark. I think it's hilarious that he... Is her thing really only two things this time? Wow. I don't know that I've ever seen one with only two. I do have 10, 10 out of 10 obsidians. Like, I could sell a bunch of these collections, but... Especially because I've been getting obsidian so much, but then I'm worried that if I sell them, I won't be able to find any more obsidian. <laughs> any plans this summer? I'm taking summer classes, so... No, I don't really have any plans for, like, vacationing or anything. Um, as far as streaming goes, as soon as Rise of the Ronin goes on sale, I am going to get it and stream it. Um, I am going back home Memorial Weekend. I'm going back up north uh, to see my family and my one of my co-workers uh, from where I worked before is getting married. So I'm going back up there. Um, so I'll be up there from like Thursday to Sunday Memorial Weekend. So I fly out early Thursday morning and I'll get back early Thursday Sunday morning. So that'll still leave me two days during the weekend to hang out and do stuff. Um, other than that, I have no plans because of these summer classes. Do you have any plans, Randy? I, I, I think in fall, I, I really, in fall, I really want to go check out uh, the, all the Harry Potter stuff at, uh, in Orlando. Where, actually, where is the Harry Potter stuff? Is that uh, Universal? I don't even know. I really want to go check that out, but when it's cooler. It's so hot right now already. Like, I've been intentionally doing more walking outside. I went for a walk the other day after work. It's like 92 degrees, guys. And I'm like, this is fine because I don't, I run cold. So I'm like, this is okay. I walked for 1.78 miles or something like that. I tried to stick to shady areas, but like I was walking in full sun for a lot of it. The last five minutes, I actually thought I was going to die of heat stroke. <laughs> it, I got so hot. And when I finally got home... Like, I had to turn the AC on, I had to hop in a cold shower, my face was red for like a full hour. Like, red and splotchy was awful. And I was like, hmm, probs shouldn't... I forgot you can't give your horse a tonic when you're actually swimming, which is dumb. Uh, probably shouldn't walk after work, because that's like pretty much when it's at its hottest. I think that was a muskrat, which I need for the arrows. So I went for work this morning. I went for work. I went for a walk this morning and it was already very hot. Like it was, I was already, like it was fine. I walked for like a mile and a, almost a mile and a half. Cause I wanted to lift a little bit. Um, so it like, wasn't like I wasn't dying, but I was definitely hot and like hotter than I normally get. It's just unusual for me to be super hot. So I don't really want to go walk around Universal. 
Uh, hey, uh, IPA, good morning. Thank you so much for the 32 months. It still blows my mind every time I see that. It's crazy. It is a universal. Yes, okay. That's what I thought. I'm sorry, Iguana. I'm sorry. Let's see what other small critters I can get on this island before I leave. I don't think there's any collectibles out here today. No, no collectibles out on the island today. Do, do, do. Oh, we don't want sedative rounds. If we could get like another muskrat would be nice. There's a static loon spawn over here. Stuff to fill up camp would be good. You want to go to British Columbia sometimes? I sometimes I've got like things on the bucket list, like long term. Uh, at the end of the day, I don't super love traveling. I like being home. <laughs> but there's places I'd like to see. I'd love to go to New Zealand. Uh, I don't know how I'd survive the flight though. That seems like an intense flight. My coworker just went back home. I forget exactly where home is, somewhere out past Europe, I guess. And she was, I forget how long she said she was on the plane, but it was an extensive amount of time. Like ridiculously long amount of time. Grab another one of these, we're probably running low. Probably running low. Uh, beyond that, like like in the States, I'd really love to visit up the East Coast, Northeast Coast, um, and or Northwest Coast, wherever would be the best place to see like orcas in the wild. May have been a crab back there, I didn't look. Um, Cause I would love to see some orcas at like if I'm out on a boat. All right, buddy, can you make it? Can you make this? Oh, that was a health one. Morning, Winterfall. How's it going? There's places in the UK where I want to go before I go abroad. The thing is that people don't think about, too, is that if you live in the States, like, um, not that it's not really good to get out of the out of the United States and go visit other countries and, and see other cultures and experience that in different types of people, because that's all fantastic, and it just gives you a better perspective on life and people and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you live in the states though like each state is like its own country sort of <laughs> now some states are very similar but like you could travel a lot just within the states and experience different people and uh, just scenery like from you know mountains to desert to swamp to cities country like there's a lot of variety here like you could do a lot of traveling here without ever leaving the country and experience a lot so And it's funny because, uh, you know, friends that live in a, a smaller country in Europe, you're like, oh, yeah, I drive two hours and I'm on a whole other country. And it's like, I could drive two hours and still be in my same state. Like, I could drive six hours and still be in my same state. Like, never leave the state. It's crazy. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of space. All right, I think I collected all of that stuff down there. Let me go to a spot where I collected all the stuff I needed to in Sand and Knee already. So we're gonna take a little trip north, I think. I'd like to travel my way out of the state, like permanently, like just leave and like permanently leave the state or just like on vacation. Gypsy lived in, where did he live for a while? Seattle maybe? That was before I met him, though. I don't know how many years he lived there. He lived up on the West Coast. Um, let's see. Let's go to Van Horn. Hey, morning, Diana. Happy Saturday. I hope you are doing well. Did you already have the concert you were going to? Was that last weekend or this weekend? I've lost track of the weeks. My weeks consist of what's what's due when <laughs> for this class. <laughs> what's due when? Have I have I missed something? 
because she's so un chaotically unorganized. Ooh, might as well. I've pretty much just been collecting stuff that I need to finish collections, but I'll, I'll pick anything up. I need it anyway. I want to live in Chicago so bad. Interesting. Have you ever lived in Chicago before? Or do you have family there? Or is it just like you just like the area? Or what is it that makes you want to live in Chicago? Like, I can't think of a single state that I'm like, oh, I really like if I could move, I want to live in that state. For me, it's more about just like the people, I guess. Obviously, I like to live somewhere warmer, like where I live now. I'm so much happier when it comes to like the weather. What I'm not happy about is that my family is so far away, so that's kind of a bummer, but... Bunnies give game meat, right? Where'd that bunny go? Sorry, bunny. Doing well, just making my coffee to wake up and start the day the show is tonight. Okay, nice. I hope you have a good time then. Morning, Jack. I visited for a couple days when it was awesome. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think one place that I super enjoyed when I visited was uh, Colorado, actually. I went there for a work trip. Uh, we stayed in... We stayed at the Broadmoor. Can't think, it's not Colorado Springs. I forget what the name of the city was that we were in. And it was beautiful there. I super loved it. Like if I never had to leave the house, uh, that was like a really nice place, but it would, I'm sure it gets really cold and snowy there. Um, so that would be a no bueno. I can't tell if it's the alcohol bottle I need or the card. I think it's the card. The card is on the back side on the balcony. Um, in terms of like where I live now, I made a trip down here and when I went back home, I felt weird like I was supposed to be down here. And now I know why. <laughs> but like, I really just after I left and came home, I just really wanted to be back here. And so that's how I ended up back down here living. <laughs> coffee <laughs> waiting on mine to get done. Do you do you guys have any fancy coffee machines? I always see people like they're like starting their day and they're making their coffee and they're making it with their fancy machine. I was like, hmm, I wonder if the coffee would taste any better if I did like more of a professional type coffee. If I had like a fancy like machine. You know what I really want guys? Lately I've seen the the ninja cream creamy thing, whatever it's called. I don't know how to say it. Creamini, ninja cream. I don't know. And it's the, for the ice cream. And I was like, ooh, I was like, I bet you I can make some good vegan ice cream with that. I sort of want it, but I don't have the space for, I don't even know how much it is. I'm sure it's a couple hundred dollars at least. I was like, that looks like it might be pretty delicious. I can make that. I can't live in Chicago. The weather's very cold. I definitely don't necessarily want to live back up north again, unless I work remotely and I don't have to leave the house during winter months. If I can just hermit up in the house and somebody else is bringing like firewood. I Look, I love, I love the north in terms of like, the fall leaves are beautiful. I love to look out and see like cardinals on the snow, like feeding from feeders, like beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love that, but I don't want to, I want to be warm. So if we have a fireplace that keeps the house nice and cozy that somebody else is splitting firewood for and I could just sit in the house and work. Yeah, I'm there. I'm there. Just visited, went to the Field Museum and Aquarium, went out to eat a few different places. That's cool when you find a spot that you really like, though. That's awesome. Oh, maybe it was Colorado Springs, not Denver. I was thinking Denver, but it was not Denver. Um, yeah. All right, I could just look it up, actually. It was Colorado Springs. Okay, I was thinking it was not Colorado Springs, but it was. It was not Denver. We were close to Denver. Um, I don't know if I can go straight up here. I might, yeah, we're not gonna make it. Shit, okay. Oh no, this is... All right, I think it's fair that I let this horse go back to the stables. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna give you a cookie and <laughs> some stuff. It's been it's been a rough it's been rough for us today. Here. 
Have all the things. Have all the things. Poor guy. Poor guy. All right. I don't want him to like, sometimes when they're like close to death and you call a new horse, like it'll kill them instead of them running off. I make my coffee on a stovetop espresso maker. Okay. See, that's what I was kind of talking about. Espresso. Right? Espresso, no X. IPS says I'm too lame for fancy coffee, just vultures. I just hate the taste of coffee. So I'm wondering, like, I see these people making these fancy coffees that has, and then they sprinkle, like, a uh, hot chocolate powder on top and i'm like hmm it looks good it probably tastes nasty though i'd go visit montana colorado for sure i would 100 percent go back and visit i've been in montana once to see family years and years ago uh we keep talking about me going back to visit for years now but i haven't found the time to do it i have family that lives in minnesota as well they're always extending an invitation for me to visit out there but i just haven't been back okay i need stuff for me Give the horse a cookie. All right, let's see if we can get to our destination without dying again. Do, do, do. So yeah, there's definitely places I'd love to go, but one definitely on the bucket list, which is a very doable one, is Orca, Orca sightings. I mean, obviously you can't guarantee it, but that's definitely something I would love to do. I'd love to see some like great whites or tiger sharks from a boat as well, but like from a very big boat. A very big boat. <laughs> I also don't know if I would get sick on a boat now. It is. Hey, Jose, how's it going? When it's summer and hot, I always go for iced coffee and switch up my normal hot coffee routine. Yeah. I feel like all these people just have like these really cool morning routines and I just have nothing. Right now I'm drinking a little bit of, um, I have water as well, but um, I found this strawberry mint uh, cucumber, cucumber maybe? Definitely strawberry mint, tea, iced tea, but it's like sweet tea. It's pretty delicious. Also very sweet, but delicious. Um, do I have anything else here I need? Yes, I need to go to Willard's Rest, I think. No, 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 I need to go over here. Get this one. I'd like to see humpbacks, that would be awesome. Really, I'd love to see any types of whales in the wild, but orcas are definitely like huge on my list. Uh, but like, yeah, humpbacks breaching, um, blue whales, like really any type of whale I think would be amazing to see out in the wild. Dolphins. Um, I mean, it says I have no morning routines, so you're not the only one. I feel, always feel so lame that I've, everybody's like, oh, I get up and I do, I stretch and I grab my, or I grab my coffee and I journal or I read for a bit or I sit out and watch the sunlight. I'm like, you know what? In the mornings, I'm barely surviving, guys. I roll out of bed, I throw some clothes on, maybe eat some breakfast, and I'm out the door to work. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit! <laughs> Get behind the table! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I didn't even have a chance! <laughs> also, I feel like the Springfield shot... What? You swam me all the way over here? You can't. Okay, that's not as far as I thought it was. I knew as soon as I heard that cat, I was like, I'm dead. I should have. I didn't have a shotgun. I feel like the rifle shot should have done it, though. Why didn't you come save me, horse? Is this still in there, wounded? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Do you think it's still in the house? Uh, maybe it despawned? I was gonna laugh if it was just still sitting in here. I love how you mentioned you go to survival in the morning and then you die in game. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I... 
I swear I can hear something. R like, is that just my horse running through this stuff? This brush? Cat, you were very unconcerned about the cougar. Oh my god, I almost died. Oh, I do have to go to Willard's. Hmm. Yeah, that cat, <laughs> that kitty cat was like yep. breakfast. Hey, Outlaw Spooky, how's it going? That's almost as bad as the gator entering the building that ate me. <laughs> Uh, I was watching a video the other day of a gator that straight up walked into somebody's house in Florida and I was like, that's very Florida. That is a very Florida thing. But he also, or, and I watched a video where there was a gator right at the back door and the dog scared it away, but like literally there was a huge thing of water right at their house. Yeah, I would not want that because the, the one thing I don't like about Florida is I, when I have a dog, like to take them for hikes and I like for them to be able to get in the water. But you can't do that down here, because uh, your dog will get eaten. So it's kind of a bummer. <laughs> uh, I can't wait until I can have a dachshund again. Do I still have blood all over me from that? Yes, I do. Look at that. I'm bleeding. That sounds yummy. You have me strawberries and cucumbers. It's so delicious. It's a little on the sweet side. <laughs> but it is so delicious. It's like a limited time flavor. Um, so I don't, I don't, it's the first time I've ever gotten it. And it's like the most I'll have is a glass a day because it's so sweet, but it's pretty delicious. It's a pretty delicious. It's a bear. All right, I'm gonna grab this vulture egg. I wonder how many vulture eggs I'm at. My collections are steadily getting up there, so I'm I'm working on these card ones that I've neglected for so long. Oh, I could have gotten Agrita, but I didn't. Right, we'll have to wait till next nighttime cycle. I'm in eight and nine for the arrowheads and um, coins. For coins, I just need the quarter and the draped bust silver dollar and one more gold dollar. And I just need a raw arrowhead, which is hilarious. That's literally all I need. And the thing is, I probably had 10 and I sold down because raw arrowheads are not rare, but now I can't get one. <laughs> and I'm like, I just need one more to complete the collection. Come on. Just downloaded uh, Red Dead for PS5. Nice. Ooh, this bear came over here. I'm wondering if maybe like next weekend, I think I still have, I think that's when my quiz, my next last test is due. Maybe like the 4th or the 11th, we can all hop in Red Dead or something and just hang out for a little bit. The, the crew. IP and I were just talking last night about how we haven't all hopped in and like hung out for a while. It's been a little bit. The game looks good on PS5, it blew me away. It really does. It really does look very good. All right, I'm gonna grab this absinthe bottle because I feel like I'm probably low on those. See if I'm getting attacked by another kitty cat. Another gato. I like to I play on my monitor, like that's what I'm on right now, but I also like to play on my TV. It gives two different kind of perspectives. Like the picture is so clean on the monitor. It's so like kind of real but it's not very bright. So when I play on the TV, I get kind of like a really bright, vibrant world. Whereas this is a little bit more like realism. Both pictures look really good, just in different ways. Should be getting close to Oh, I did hit 870. When did I hit 870? Huh. I wonder if I did that today. I was thinking it took forever for... Uh, 869 was taking forever. <laughs> I found out that the Obsidian Arrowhead I need doesn't even spawn in Arrowhead locations and has less than a 2% chance to show up. It will spawn in Arrowhead locations, but it is very rare. Um, 
Definitely the random dig spots tend to be a little bit better for rare stuff, but it will spawn in an arrowhead location. It absolutely will. But it is, yes, a very rare spawn. Um, okay, I actually have to keep going north a little bit. There's a... So I think I'll skip the coin because I need to go get this. And then there's a ring I need up north. I'd be down to hang out the 4th or 11th. We can talk about it with everyone. Yeah, we should. Like, I I know I've... I know I've said I've wanted to for a little while and I'm kind of dropping the ball a bit too just because I've been so stressed out. This this class really does have me very stressed out. <laughs> like poor Gypsy is getting the brunt of it. Like he's having to hear me all the time and I'm like, I know I'm being annoying about it right now and I'm sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> I was like, hopefully this isn't the next two years. Hopefully this is just a fluke class. <laughs> and I mean, I'm not, I'm going to hate all the classes no matter what, but hopefully the teachers at least are, are not as bad as this one. Um, so I, I've wanted, I've wanted to like try and nudge everybody together, but I've just been, you know, stressed with class and also on the weekends, you know, date nights. So <laughs> I haven't even been gaming some on like Saturdays and Sunday evenings. Do, 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 do. Uh, I think that's up at this one here. <gasps> Stuck. Uh, hey, Colton, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Uh, I don't typically do PvP in this game just because I, I did at one point. Uh, the group I hung out with years ago was big into PvP and uh, some of the modes can be fun. Um, but honestly, there's just there's too many, first of all, insane people in this game that take it way too seriously. And also there's too much. It's not really a good PvP game. There's too many variables between tonics and ability cards, exploits, uh, downright cheating. So when I PvP, I'll do something like Fortnite or... Don't you buck for wolves. Uh, I used to play a little Call of Duty. That's pretty much it though. Dead by Daylight if I want to do some PvP. But in this game, I use this game more for relaxation now. So I do things like collecting and dailies and things. How are the how are the Baltimore Orioles doing this season? Uh, I didn't think they were. They didn't start the season off so well. Um, but I think they're back on the winning side. Let me see. I haven't been able to follow too much. They're twelve and seven right now, so they're actually doing a little bit better. They they started off kind of rough, I think. I haven't been able to watch, um, just because I don't really have access. Uh, let me see. Uh, it'd be so cool if when I go back up at some point I could hit a game up there. Doop, doop, doop. They're second right behind the Yankees right now. So they're definitely doing a lot better. I think they started the season off pretty rough. Do, do, do. Morning, David. How's it going? I uh, just woke up out to hop in there myself. Nice. Do you, is that what you enjoy in the game, PvP? I don't knock people who enjoy PvP in the game as long as you're not an asshole about it. Like, if I'm doing my own thing collecting and somebody shoots me when I'm minding my own damn business, like, get the fuck out of here. And if I parlay, if I parlay and you intentionally break a parlay to come after me, then also screw you. This is not a this is not a straight PVP game. It's a PVE PVP game, mostly PVE. And if somebody doesn't want to PVP, you should respect that and go find somebody who does. Because there's plenty of people that do want to. Hey, I didn't realize this is a good geese spot. I knew it was around here, but that's crazy. Uh, there's plenty of people that do want to PvP, so harassing somebody that doesn't want to PvP is kind of a dick move, but... I didn't know where the bunny went. Yeah. 
I don't know why I'm going the other way. For me, it's all about this right now. I'm on a beautiful horse. There's a beautiful sunrise. In a beautiful world. Speaking of which, though, I did hit somebody with a couple dynamite arrows last night because they shot my horse and killed it when I was minding my own business, so I do need to... I probably need to pick up some dynamite. Hey, Juo, how's it going? It's the Orioles, not the Oreos. The thing is, is apparently he was doing a mission, which I did not know, by the way. It hadn't popped up that he was doing a mission, so it was just a random blue dot. I had just collected something, and I was going into Sandy Need to collect a card. And literally, as I'm going to ride by, he shoots and kills my horse. So I killed him. And he rode straight back toward me, and I killed him again. Well, right after that, it popped up that, like, as a mission. And I think he left the lobby. I would have let him complete the mission, but I'm just like, I get it. You're doing a mission, but don't, don't be a dickhead. Like, I literally didn't do anything to you, and you killed my horse. So... You deserve to get shot at least once. <laughs> you deserve to be shot. And I mean, I guess in his viewpoint, he's like, oh, I need to shoot and kill them because I'm doing a mission. They might shoot and kill me, but you're not winning that. Just so you know, if you're a solo and you're doing a mission on a wagon, like the chances of you being able to finish that mission if another player decides to stop you is slim to none. Because Rockstar's dumb when it comes to the missions. They'll spawn somebody who's attacking you right next to you. So for you to be able to get back to the wagon when you die, get on it, it it's like, it's almost impossible to do if you're not in a posse. Bye Randy, have a great rest of your day. Yep. Rank 356, nice. So yeah, the missions, the PvP for missions is pretty dumb, I think. Now, if you have two full posses and you're going at it and you're trying to like steal the goods and they're trying to deliver the goods, that can be fun and exciting. And, you know, but if you're a full posse going after one man, like there's no way for that one person to finish the mission. There's no, literally no way. It's not possible. because of the spawns and everything. Now, if the person doing the mission killed you and you spawned like really far away, that would be different, but you don't, you spawn right there again. So it's like, or if like there was a cooldown and, and like you, it took like 30 seconds for you to respawn or something. So it was like longer, like that maybe. But the actual setup is pretty dumb. Hey, Ghost, how's it going? Do, 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 do. But yeah, this is what I love. Just riding around in this beautiful world. It's relaxing. My, I'm, I have anxiety. I get stressed out enough. Like, this is this is my de-stress time. When somebody kills me and I'm not expecting it, like I don't see a blue dot or I'm not focused, like it literally, legitimately triggers a massive adrenaline dump. Because I, I count on this game as my peaceful like calming type thing hey jedi long time hope you're doing well mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. ah come on i need a raw airhead let's go that's my last one i'm not allowed to collect with anybody right now because i will bug everything out for them Literally everything. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get this hawk egg. That's going to be a pain in the ass, though. I'm having a great Saturday. I hope you're having a great Saturday as well. I hate getting this egg. What's going to be... Really? I, I, don't, I can't get across there, though. That's dumb. All right, let's go back down this way. I should be able to cross here, right? If I come back down the other side... Got a hundred sets. Ooh, I don't think I'm there. Let's see. I'm curious. Uh, I don't feel like mathing in my head this morning, guys. I totally would, but I just don't feel like it. So I'm gonna use a calculator here. All right, we got eight plus three plus. I think this is a full set. Nope, that's not a full set. Plus two plus four plus five plus nine plus three. 
plus three, plus five. Is this a full set? Yeah, plus one, plus two, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus two, plus two. I only have 58 sets, and the reason is I neglected these card sets. So I only have like two and three card sets of most things, and arrowheads are um, heirlooms, I think I'm up to like five, maybe. So that's what I'm working on right now, is getting full card sets, because that's going to bump me up quite a bit. But my arrowheads, which I, I started collecting more because I was getting so many rare, I only need a raw arrowhead, and I'll have 10 for 10. That, that'll be the first time in years that I've gotten 10 for 10 on something. And now I need a few more here. I need two gold quarters, two drapes, bus silver dollars, and one gold dollar to get that. So if I'm solo, you just change my MTU. I will do that a lot of times if I'm just solo collecting. But I also don't want to have to do that either. I missed my turn. I missed my turn. I think this is my turn. This is my turn I want to go to, right? No, I did want to go down that way. Yep. Shit, I'm going back the same way, aren't I? I am. Okay, we need to cross over here. Yep. This water here is some of my favorite. Look how pretty this is. I love getting footage by this water because it's so blue. I really hope it's a collector month. <laughs> I'm working hard to get like the rest of the sets. I have a feeling it's not going to be collector month because collector month always takes them so long to do. I feel like it, it always takes way longer to get a collector month than any other. Like trader, I feel like we get more often and bounty hunter are like the two most common and then collectors, we don't get as much. I could be totally wrong. It could just be because I like collector and I feel like we get it less. Do, do. Ooh, we got a player nearby. All right, let's pull out the varmint rifle. Uh, let's see. I always forget how to get to this one. Okay, I have to go up this side over here. No, we're not gonna make it. No, no, now we're stuck in a loop of not making it. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Calm, calm. Can I get up over there? No, we're just going off the same side again, buddy. Nope. Ugh. All right, let me try over here. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Oh, no, it's not on the ground. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, me too. Working so hard and collecting. It's actually relaxing. It's so relaxing. And because I've been so stressed out this last, like, two months, I think that I've just fallen back into it because it's such a good counterbalance. <laughs> Wait, how did I get up here? All right, here we go. Uh, hey, Tommy, how are you today? I saw some people on the uh, Red Dead subreddit saying they can clear the whole map of collectibles in three to four hours. I have heard that. And if you collect a lot, I think the lowest I ever got it to, though, was like around six hours for the entire map, five or six hours. But if you like know exactly where the spots are and you're just running, running from each place, I mean, three to four hours still seems pretty crazy to me because, like, it's a lot of items on the map. But if you're if you're going, like, going, 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 I, I think four is probably doable if you're very familiar with where everything is. Like, you've been collecting so much, but... I know, I was right. Brains, a.k.a. Tommy. Like, I would think four might be doable, but I'm probably more likely five. I would think between four and five is a realistic, uh, a potentially realistic timing. It just takes so long to, like, run from spot to spot. You gotta stop, you gotta collect it, you got the animations, like... I wonder if they collect everything, like, all the flowers, all the eggs, uh...
Haven't played Red Dead online in like three years. I get that. How many sets do you not have? Uh, I have one of everything except one of the uh, one of the fossil collections because I, I just I don't like to go up north that often, so I don't get too many fossil collections. So I have I have at least one of everything except megafauna. Uh, I think yeah, because I have two there and I've got two there. So the sets that I am working on right now are static sets. So like coin, um, sorry, uh, cards, alcohol bottles, and heirlooms, because I can get them all to ten potentially before the month ends, before collector starts. And then that'll just leave me with uh, flowers. I only have one set, but I've got I've got ten out of ten for a lot of these except agarita. I just need to go start collecting agarita. Um, That'll bump me up pretty good. So I get three today in this cycle. That'll put me at four, through four sets. Oh, that. So, yeah. yeah. Miss this game a lot. I miss it when I don't play it, for sure. Because it's just so relaxing. It's still my favorite game. It's still my absolute number one favorite game. Hey, Sir Will, how's it going? If Ashley didn't see, uh, I was just driving, I think, when she said it. Tell her I said hi. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to miss her last night. Uh, my power went out, and I had I had my sound down, too, so I couldn't hear if you guys were talking because um, we ended up watching Deadpool 2. Um, but my power went out, and so I, dr I drove over to Gypsies. And when I got, I was like, oh, my God. I was like, Ashley said hi, and I missed it. She probably thinks I intentionally didn't say hi. I was giving Rowdy a hard time for having a topless character running around. Not that he could hear me. <laughs> I've maxed flowers, alcohols, and eggs. For me, I rarely max, oh, I'm going the wrong way, uh, eggs because of the stupid hawk eggs. I hate getting the hawk eggs. They're such bad places. I <laughs> appreciate it, Will. <laughs> They say uh, Red Dead 3 is going into development after GTA 6 comes out. I really hope so. Obviously, Rockstar hasn't confirmed every anything other than... Um, I forget, once his name did say that they were still planning to continue the franchise. This was a couple years ago, though. Um, I don't think they would abandon this franchise. Like, this is one of their big money makers. Obviously, GTA is their biggest money maker. It do wouldn't make sense for them to completely abandon it uh, unless the company was in trouble, I guess. Um... So I think we will see a Red Dead 3, but I think we've got, like, you know, a minimum of 10 years before <laughs> that happens. Like, don't expect it anytime soon. It's going to be a long time. Okay, bye, Brains, if you're still here. But see, I'm, like, maxed out on so much stuff, so collecting's a little less satisfying right now because everything I pick up, I, like, have. Eh, while we're here, we'll go ahead and grab some of this stuff. I'm I, I thought it crossed through though if I was maxed out on it. So hopefully, I don't care how old I am. I'll be there for Red Dead Three. I will so be there for Red Dead Three. The next game announcement I'm going to be most excited for is going to be Ghost Two. I'm hoping that's going to happen within the next couple years. Like we'll get that within like I'm hoping within three years we have a Ghost Two. I don't know if that's realistic or not. I really hope that will be the next game that I'm like everybody's excited for GTA 6 how excited people are for GTA 6 that will be me with Ghost 2 I love Ghost 1 it is my second favorite game of all time and then after that Red Dead 3 would be the next game I'll be super hyped about the only way I won't be hyped about Red Dead 3 is if they go further into the future and they start to deal with like cars and like the 20s or whatever um, you don't want to play GTA 6 I don't really want to play GTA 6 either the story was mildly intriguing to me, but I just don't like GTA and I don't like cities and cars. I, if the story intrigues me enough, I will give it a go. And if there's enough like wildlife animal stuff in the game, I think. Oh, thanks, Will. Have a great rest of your day. Appreciate you stopping in. I'm getting a little sidetracked here. You're not getting GTA 6? I am one of those people that like, if I'm not excited about something, I'm not gonna just like buy it or pre-order it just because it's like supposedly gonna be the next big thing. 
it's gonna have to like I don't know what it I don't know what the trailers and gameplay will have to show for me to pick it up and stream it right away um, but it's gonna have to be something pretty special I think because ultimately it's just not the type of game I typically enjoy um so it, it's more like a waste of money and I don't everybody everybody's always in the past pushed me to play GTA put your streaming like you need to play GTA play GTA like it's more popular and I was like I don't I, but I don't care if I'm not enjoying it then you're not gonna enjoy being here because I'm not enjoying what I'm playing so it'll be the first GTA you won't get why uh is there a reason uh, like a specific reason why ghost hey solar how's it going can't wait for the Ghost of Tsushima PC release. When it, do you know when that's happening? I feel like it's soon. It's so good. I'm so excited for PC players to play Ghosts. Like, it's so good. I hate exclusivity because I feel like it just keeps really good games out of the hands of people. Like, at the end of the day, I want I, a really good game I want everybody to have access to. May 31st. Okay, cool. So that's coming up. Nice. You're just bored with GTA? Yeah. For me, it's just, it's a combination of things, honestly. It's uh, a setting that I don't super enjoy. It's language that I don't really want to listen to the entire time I'm playing. Um, yes, there's, yes, Red Dead is shooting in crimes too, but it's like, I don't know. I don't. I don't really have any interest in selling drugs. <laughs> like, you know, what I, I, I don't know. It's just like, it's a lot of little things that it's just not, not for me type of a thing. Ooh, spicy. I mean, I played through Cyberpunk and everybody was talking about how great Cyberpunk is and how much you'll love it and it was just kind of meh for me, and I feel like it's very similar. I just like the concept of the city and... I don't know. To me, Red Dead can't be beat. I agree. Like, the story is just... And you can you can tell the type of games I like with what I enjoy playing the most. Red Dead 2 is my favorite game of all time. Red Dead 1, Ghost of Tsushima, God of War. Like... Big open world, like... Uh open country games is what I enjoy. Mm, I don't actually know where I'm going for this. I might have to go up a little bit further. I think it might be on that ledge up there. It is. Yeah, I need to, I need to go up a little bit. Can I get up on this side? Do, do, do. Hey, Ducky, good morning. Yeah, I've tried to play GTA 5 like three or four times now. I haven't gotten very far, to be fair. You know what? I meant to I meant to reset where I was going because now I have to backtrack to get a card back there. The one thing I really enjoy about games like this is just coming across stuff in the world. Like in story where it's like not necessarily this tree, but like you'll be coming across, uh, you know, stuff and there's like, okay, there's dream catchers in this tree or, you know, there's this hidden thing back here. Um, that's like the story that you can kind of look at the clues and, and figure out maybe what was happening. I like that kind of stuff. Okay. Bye Colton. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy your gaming. I finished the GTA 5 story and I'm not a massive fan. Hey, Rowdy, how's it going? I was just I was just talking about you a little bit. I was like last night I had it turned down so I couldn't really hear you guys. Uh and then I we watched uh Ooh, that's a spider. That's a little spider though, it's okay. 
um, when we watched Deadpool 2. But I was like, Rowdy couldn't hear me, but I was giving him a hard time about his character being topless. <laughs> I was like, why is his character topless? Unnecessary. <laughs> so if you explained why, I didn't hear the explanation. <laughs> That's why I love Strange Man so much, Diana, because his videos with like the the scenes that you'd come across were so awesome. And I was like, I really believed. I was like, this is a very believable, plausible story. Am I excited for Deadpool three? I definitely am. We just uh, I just watched Deadpool two for the first time last night. We I watched Deadpool one the weekend before, so we just watched them. Gypsy had already seen them, but I had I hadn't. And uh, yeah, they were both really good. So I'm looking forward to... It's actually apparently not Deadpool 3 necessarily because it's Deadpool and Wolverine. And the director or whatever was like, this isn't like a direct like sequel to Deadpool. Uh, which is, I don't know, interesting. I didn't realize because I'd never watched Deadpool, I didn't realize how closely it was linked with X-Men and... Like, I didn't realize that. I thought Deadpool was kind of its own thing. And I didn't realize. Like, so watching all the references with, like, X-Men and, and Wolverine and all that, I was like, oh, okay, this makes sense. This makes sense now. Um, have you played any Skyrim or Fallout? So I tried to play Skyrim, but didn't enjoy it. Um, and I think the reason why I didn't enjoy it uh, was because the map was hard to navigate um so i remember there was this one mission i was trying to do and i couldn't figure out how to get up the mountain and games like that annoy me like if if i have a, a waypoint and a place that i have to go and i can't figure out how to get there and i'm wasting like hours trying to figure it out i get annoyed i get annoyed when it's really hard to navigate terrain and like your character can't, it's like, oh, you look, it looks like you should be able to go there, but you can't. Like uh, that stuff drives me insane. Drives me insane. Cause I probably should do a few more dailies. Hey, Thomas, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good today. I loved God of War so much, but that was the only problem. Are you talking about like navigating terrain? <laughs> God of War definitely had some things that drove me crazy because I, I couldn't figure out a couple times I had to look up how to like it's so puzzle oriented like exactly where I needed to go and I would miss like the things on the there would be things like sort of on the wall that would sort of indicate that you could climb there or do something there and I would miss it and so it was a little tricky so that was kind of frustrating. Uh, but ultimately, I really loved Ragnarok. I enjoyed 2018 like God of War 2018 as well. Uh, but Ragnarok, for the character development, was my favorite. I'd never played any of the Fallouts, though. I did start playing a little- I did a- uh, I had a two-hour trial for Mirage, so I tried that the other day. Um, and I actually have or Origins, I think, to give a try. Origins or Odyssey, I can't remember which one. One of those. That's me trying to get some of the aggro spawn points. Yes, there is an aggro that I won't even go for. <sighs> Haven't played Ragnarok yet, waiting for the PC release. It's really good. I think it's really good. Uh, I know some people didn't like it because of the stuff with the characters, but I thought the character development and progression was pretty good. All right, so we're going to go for some aggro here. Just standing on the train tracks while there's a train coming. Before we do that, I'm going to grab this collectible out here in the plains. Do, do, do. Haven't had too many, uh, too many blueberries messing about today, which is nice. I play Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. I heard Fallout 76, I heard Fallout 4 is one of the better ones, uh, but that Fallout 76 is good now, but it had like a really rough start, I guess. Uh, Post-apocalyptic type games don't really interest me. I have trouble playing them. Uh, for example, I've tried to play Last of Us a couple times and it's just not, 
I tend not to, one, I tend not to enjoy like the actual format, like the, the world format, but also just like the types of enemies you're fighting. So Last of Us annoys me because I'm like, I don't really want to sit here for 20 minutes. I, I don't mind stealth, but I'm like, when you have limited resources and it's like you ha are forced into stealth because you don't have anything else to fight with and you have to use bottles for misdirection and then you have to wait there for like three minutes for the zombie to pass you know and hope they don't see you and you're still trying to figure out where to go and it's not very clear that kind of stuff annoys me and so last of us i've not gotten very far in that a couple times like i've tried a couple times uh, undead nightmare is also my least favorite of the red dead franchise so it's just like, i think it's just a zombie thing too and limited resources the only game with limited resources and it wasn't even that bad uh, the first one was worse. Alan Wake was amazing. Uh, it was worse than Alan Wake 2 with the resources. Alan Wake 2 is probably one of the few, like, survival horror hang on, uh, games that I super enjoy. I'm working on a new game plus right now, about maybe halfway through. Tried uh, to play Cyberpunk, did finish it. I, f I did finish it, but it was a struggle. It was like my third or fourth time trying to play it that I finally managed to complete it. But I still haven't done the Phantom Liberty DLC. People made the Fallout games. They said we're getting a Fallout 4 next gen update. Oh, interesting. Okay. Is that going to be just like updated graphics or like updated controls and stuff too? Probably just updated graphics, right? I know a lot of people are starting to get back into Fallout. Uh, I think Swole just started a Fallout 4 playthrough. I think it was Fallout 4. I couldn't follow the story. It didn't make sense to me. Yeah, the story is definitely a little disjointed, I feel like. Especially if you're doing side stuff, like... Um... And it's cool when a game has multiple endings, but like to get another ending, if it just means taking you back before the final mission, I don't know. It seems a little weird. It's like, oh, I just completed the game, but it meant nothing because now I'm back at before. Basically, when you complete the game, instead of just having access to the open world to play. I don't know if this is a spoiler or not. <laughs> I don't know if people consider that a spoiler. Sorry if you do consider that a spoiler. I'll stop talking. I'll stop talking about Cyberpunk. I know it's been out for a little while, but I'll stop talking. All right. Agarita, Agarita. Okay, this spots don't look terrible for the Agarita. Go, but they're... It's also not very convenient because they're always on, like, opposite sides. You played Cyberpunk and finished it? How'd you like it, David? It definitely captured my attention a little bit more the second time. What I did not, or the third or fourth time whenever I tried it. Uh, one thing I super didn't love about the game, though, was uh, I did not enjoy how many bugs there were. Like, game-breaking, I have to redo an entire mission bugs. I did not enjoy that. It was good. Yeah, I know a lot of people super loved it. I just think at this point, like, I have a really good idea of what I enjoy in games and what I don't enjoy in games, so... I can watch gameplay and footage and have a good idea whether or not... I'm not saying there are games that definitely surprise me and I'm like, oh, I enjoy this more than I thought I would, or oh, I thought I was going to enjoy this and I really didn't. Um, but I have a good idea whether or not I, ha there's a, I have a good shot of liking it. Hey, Mountain, how are you today? Have I played in the Arkham series? I've played a little bit of... Maybe the first one? I can't pick- I, I picked him up recently. And I did start playing a little bit of, I think, the first one. Or one of the Arkhams. I don't- I don't remember which one it was. I feel like I'm going way too far... S south right now for where I need to be. I have Cyberpunk, but I haven't really gotten into it yet. At some point, I might go back and play the Phantom Liberty DLC. We'll see. Yeah. Do, do, do. 
I got them when they're on discount on Steam and only just started the first one. Yeah, I got them when they're on discount too, so <laughs> and I just haven't had time to play them. I need to f I need to keep playing Baldur's Gate 3. I really, really enjoyed my time in Baldur's Gate 3. Like I'm I super loved what I did, but it just is so complicated that with the amount of time I have and the patience I have right now to play it is kind of hard. Um Oh shoot, I had another Dag on it. I needed it. Okay, let me grab this one. I'll go south for the other Agarita and then I'll go north again. Um, it's like I need to watch some guides or like read through some stuff because one, I can't figure out where to go. The map is kind of tricky to navigate because I'm not used to that type of game. Um, there's things that you can do that I just don't know that you can do it because I've never played a game like this before. I don't have any Dungeons and Dragons background experience. I don't have any game, turn-based game experience like this um so it's just really tricky so for me to hop in and casually like i'll hop in and play a little bit and i'm like i feel like i accomplished nothing because i i can't f it's it's again one of those things where the terrain is hard to manage and i can't figure out where to go and so i get a little frustrated because i'm like i can see where the marker is on the uncovered map but i don't know how to navigate there and there's this whole storyline that i missed because I didn't realize I had to do it before doing this one thing. So it, it went away after that because the whole place was like locked down. And I was like, that's kind of a bummer that I missed that. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I get so lost in this game. I feel like it's I've been collecting forever, but it's like literally only been an hour. <laughs> this might be one of the Agarita that's hard to get now that I think about it. I don't I don't think this is the hard to get one. Bulger's Gate 3 is meant for multiple playthroughs unless you use guide. Yeah, I can definitely see that too, because there's so many different choices. I mean, even from like the classes and everything you choose, but like even just choices you make, like who you side with, who you don't side with, whether or not you use the the mind flaying powers or you don't or you know who you want to romance or whatever but so i definitely get the multiple playthrough thing but i just get i just get so lost on the map i'm like where do how do i get there where do i go and i'm still learning how to do like the battles and stuff and like what's the like what's gonna help the team where i need to position myself how i move like I've definitely died and, and lost battles multiple times. Oh no, this will be the easy one because it's right up here. I know where this one is. Okay. Uh, let's see. Should be able to get up right here. That scared the crap out of me. What the fuck, Rockstar? That wasn't even a spot that I should have gotten hung up on, you asshole. I swear whoever creates this stuff does that shit on purpose. No reason for that. All right, I might have to get the other Agarita next cycle. Do, do, do. All right, need a spot to get down. I'm gonna have to go back to the front side. Can I get down over here? I could probably slide down right here. Don't fall. Yep. Hey, Corey, how's it going? Ha. I played Cyberpunk when it came out and loved it, but I didn't experience many bugs. I think what happened was somebody mentioned that there were some patches that came out that undo undid a bunch of the patches that fixed those early bugs that made the game unplayable. And I believe it, because there were bugs I was getting that people were getting when the game first dropped. Um, like, uh, especially with, um, 
shoot what was the cop's name uh river um there were a lot of bugs there horses get stuck or tumble from the stupidest things in this game they totally do it's ridiculous <laughs> I don't think I've gotten a single arrowhead or, co or coin today. The game's like, nope, I gave them all to you. You don't get any more. I was getting chased by a bear last time. My horse uh, is just standing at this rock. <laughs> it wasn't even a big rock. I love it when you get stuck in place and like, like I've given you several pieces of hay too. Why are your cores not going up, buddy? And your horse just gets stuck there and you literally can't move. And I'm like, come on. <laughs> and yeah, it's usually like a pebble. You're like, come on, work your way around it, buddy. Sorry, I don't want to be killing bunnies, but I need the meat. I should swing by and do a shaky mission while I'm out here. Oh, it was completely out of game meat. I accidentally used my succulent fish in a stew the other day too. It was my last three. Time is it 2.31 a.m.? Yes, I will not make it to the other agarita, but I should have three sets now? Yeah. So that's pretty good. The nice thing about, like, flowers is you can pretty much get three full sets a day because you got the agarita and the uh, blood flower only spawn three. Creek Plum might also only spawn three. But technically in four days you can have all ten, so it's not that big of a deal. Alright, and I think I might need the alcohol bottle too. It's the alcohol bottle. Old time gin, I do need that. Uh, where am I? Alcohol bottles. Alright. So, that gives me five of these. Nice. Pretty sure this is daily. Okay, the question is, do I have enough time? Do, 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 to get the last agarita. Uh, it's kind of in a pain in the ass spot. It is only 320 though. If I can get a camp set up. Might be able to get it. talked to Rose recently, Diana? I feel like I haven't talked to her in like a week or so. A week or two. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we can get to this spot. dark though and I always forget if I have to go up this middle part I feel like I can come down the side here maybe
think I'm full on these. Yeah, raw rhubarb, I'm full. Damn, I had to go the other side, didn't I? I did. I had to go out to the right and come around. Shit. 419. Probably never make it. We can give it the old college try, though. I just swing all the way back around, though, and up again, so... Nope, misjudged. All right, we don't have time. All right. Actually, let's do, yeah, let's do a shaky mission. Uh, where do I have to, I have to hit him outside Armadillo, right? We'll go see sh 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 shaky. Um, this is the Arden I'm on right now. I'll show it off if you're still here when it's, uh, when the sun actually comes up. It's hard to see right now. Every time. Every time. I always forget I have a waypoint. So then I close the map and I didn't actually set a new waypoint, but that's okay. I know where Shaky is. Do, 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 do. Let's see if we can get a horse theft here. That'd be nice. Sun should be coming up any minute now. It's been a pretty good horse. I don't typically go for the Ardennes just because I don't love the colors. Um, I know I just said I know where Shaky is, but I'm totally not riding toward him. We got a little bit of light coming in now. Ooh. Okay, I'm <laughs> kind of down low. This is a terrible angle. This is the Bay Roan Arden. That was not, that was not, end up not being a good angle there. Let's even get down on the flak around here. And I think this is main number 10. I'm not really sure. It's a two-tone main. I got the dreads on the front because I thought the colors looked really good. Um, I don't super love, like, the front part of it, but I love this, uh, the way the side part lays. And then I did the same color with the tail, where it's got, like, the multiple colors in. But yeah, Bayron Arden. There's some light coming in. It's still hard to see the coat color. It's still kind of dark for that. Uh, and then I just have like a basic, I think this is the Neller saddle on it. So it's pretty simple. I totally wish we had more Arden quotes. I want a solid black Arden would be nice. We might need but even the gray one from Story would be really good. When I see the doctor now, he just gives me my <laughs> Is your prescription cocaine? So you see me, I'll give you yours. Morphine. Ain't morphine, though. Have a, have, a, have, a, have a read. You do this for me, and I'll pay you proper. Read it now. Oh. His mouth's not moving. Oh, are you, is it putting me in a solo lobby? That's weird. There you go. You can see the color a little bit better there in the sunlight. What I what I mostly it's like I know this is like a roan. It just looks a little bit kind of I do I do like this combination, but the coat itself I prefer more like dappling or smooth colors. And this is kind of a little muddied in my opinion. Uh, Fallout 4 Next Gen is getting higher resolutions, better textures, improved lighting, performance mode, and quality mode, and an update is free if you own Fallout 4. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Hey Bray Tech, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good, thank you. 
So yeah, she's been a good girl. She's been she's been a good horse. I got her. I was doing a I'm working on a bay horse video right now. And I I really enjoyed uh I really enjoyed this. I, I started using her with Arthur in story. And I was like, you know what? Let me get this for my online character too. I had to let go of the gold Turkmen for her. <laughs> Not exactly a hardship. All right, let's change up the weapons here. Where are we going, Ridgewood? Okay. Hey, I mean, how's it going? Happy 420. I wouldn't have known unless uh, till people started saying it. <laughs> I wouldn't have even thought of it. Ah, of course my shotgun has been unequipped. These rocks are such a troll. shot the horse there. <laughs> Appreciate that, ghost. What do we what do we got here? Mustang? Nice. I love this Mustang. Mustangs are such cute little horses. Hey, smut. Welcome. Happy Saturday. You want a cookie, buddy? Here, have a cookie. No? how pretty it's such a good saddle for it too the only thing i don't like when they do this is like the saddle bag never matches or the um sorry the thing on the back the blank uh saddle pad saddle pad i don't know whatever they call the rolled up thing on the back When I got a Mustang in story, I just had to call it Sally. <laughs> Bed roll. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, saddle roll? That's not right. Saddle pad? That's not right either. <laughs> Bed roll. Words are hard, guys. All right, I think I literally did like two. Oh, okay. I did more than two dailies. I could have gotten, I could have gotten blackberries. Could still get blackberries. Um... I did four dailies. What they need is an all black saddle pad too. This is not my saddle, is it? Why is it? Oh, okay, it's just really dirty. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Didn't that look like that? Looked like a like a Lumley for a second or a, a whichever the one is. Dude, that looks so weird for a minute. I was like, this is. I didn't realize the saddle got that dirty too. That was crazy. Ooh, look how rich the color looks now. That's a good looking horse. You can change it. Oh yeah, if it's your own horse. I just meant when you're like doing a horse theft. I wish you could have a saddle uh, bed roll with um, all black, like the black straps too. Yeah, that's so crazy. I don't know that I've ever noticed it that much on a saddle. 
it looking that dirty. Must be the type of saddles I use, I guess. Um, all right, let's grab, actually there's a coin here. I'm trying to get those last couple coins, but it is not working. Yep. They didn't all black everything, they do. The colors, whoever made the color choices here at Rockstar, it's, dude, the greens, for example, because green's my favorite color, they are all different. By the way, static spawn for a Gila monster, so if you ever need that for a daily, guys, it's right there. Right here next to this little plane. I didn't realize the saddle got dirty either. I don't think I've ever seen it that bad before. It's crazy. Well, we didn't get anything because I, I heard it not go off. Carrying the max of the 1789 penny. Do, 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 do. That's a good looking Tennessee Walker. I had that one for the video. It's Dapple Bay. The video is about a quarter to a half done. I There's almost no way I'll finish it this weekend just because I have two tests within the next one due Sunday, one due next Friday. I have one more ALA I have to do and I have another peer review I've got to do. I don't think there's any way I'll finish the video tomorrow. Probably not. I'll take the test. I'll have another mental breakdown over how terrible it is. <laughs> Ooh, spicy. I'm not looking forward to the two classes I have next uh, for summer though either. It's like uh What are the two classes? Uh microeconomics and something management. Not excited, not excited. I couldn't get the accounting classes I wanted. Uh, so yeah, that'll have to be fall, I guess. I'll have to figure it out. I think I want to take the accounting classes. I feel like it's going to give me a really good idea if this is the direction I want to go. Um, but I am also starting to do a data analytics course through like Coursera through Google. Um, just to check that out because the college I'm going to also has a data analytics certificate and I'm like if I really enjoy it That's probably I would maybe go more that route So I think that will give me some good like remote work options like opportunities And that's really that's really where I am right now. I just I want to work remotely I want to make enough to survive and I want to have a dog like that's where I am. Hey Gen X <laughs> I don't care about the rest of it I don't want some big fancy corporate job. I'm not interested in climbing the corporate ladder. I just want a job that can provide for myself and my significant other, and I can do that from home with my pup. <laughs> All right, one more try here. I think I am O for like a billion with the coins and the arrowheads. Do, 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 do. All right, I think we might give this horse a little bit of a rest now. Let's pull somebody else out. Let's see. I'm kind of terrified to bring Atticus out again. He, he had it pretty rough <laughs> the other day. <laughs> Yeah. 
Donna says, IPA, I've never seen my horse lay down in front of me. I've seen her drink water in front of me, but never lay down. That's one thing I didn't realize I could do. I've only seen it like a few times. Uh, and it's so rare. And it's usually when you're coming out of a mission, like my horse will be laying down and I'm like, don't move. As soon as you move, your horse is getting up. Like, why can't they just have the animation of your horse laying down? That would be fantastic. All right, there's a couple collectibles I need in the snow. So I'm just gonna swing over to camp real quick and grab a coat. But I don't understand why your horse can't lay down. Like I've literally seen my horse do it maybe two or three times. Like so, it's so rare. And every time it happens, I'm like, oh my god, like my horse is laying down. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> I mean, since I've seen it happen a lot, that is amazing. Like I've seen, I've seen the wild horses lay down. Um, I love it when someone watches like a video on something and their only comment is, "This doesn't work." I mean, it clearly works. You watch the video, right? You could see it working in the video. <laughs> Why is my horse all the way over here? I also realize I'm like running away from my camp. My horse is laying down while at camp a few weeks ago. I don't know that I've ever, oh, my, my camp is not here. Oh, that's the first I've had this in a while. Okay. Okay. I think it's cause that other camp is there. Let's see if we can move it. I think I posted a picture long ago. It was literally laying in the mud in the swamps. It's like, I'm going to cool down. I might have snapped some pics when I've seen it happen to my horses. This is not the valley. Dear Rockstar, <laughs> I said to put my camp in the valley. This is not the valley. I don't know if you know. All right, we need a coat. Or we could just put on a winter outfit. Let's put on a winter outfit. What do we got on our horse here? Let's take that one off. All right. Ooh. I actually kind of like the green one. Maybe a little too much green. All right, we're going north. Getting a little low on supplies here. I suppose this will do. You will take whatever I give you, good sir. Whatever. Do not complain. To the north. I still can't believe they did free fast travel again so soon. I think I literally just have three collectibles left that I marked that I had to get this cycle. That is pretty darn good. Oh, nope, I lied. There's an heirloom outside Tumbleweed that I never swung back around and got. Okay, that's Oh my God, that scared the crap out of me. It wasn't even looking. <laughs> Why would you spawn me in there? <laughs> Jeez, Rockstar, I hate you. I hate you. Why do you do these things? I play this game for relaxation. <laughs> now my adrenaline's going. I'm a little over here looking at the Gene Rope game map, not paying attention. Sheesh. All right, there's a hawk egg down here. Do I really need that? Uh, I am at only three, but I'm also at only three eagle eggs too and three spoonbill eggs. <laughs> Not the end of the world if I don't get it. Rockstar is trolling me. Spawns me in right behind another player's horse. Horse kicks me when I'm not looking. 
my sound is up pretty loud. So if I if you hear me yelling, that's why. I get a little jolt of adrenaline. Now my heart has to calm down. I do love using a black horse up in the snow. So pretty. Can't really get a good angle. That's a pretty good one. It's hard because you have to be turned like this way or this way where the light is right now to get the good angles. Your horse does protest this, though. Your horse does not like the snow. No! No! Oh my god, I can't believe we landed that. <laughs> that was my bad. Uh, shit, do I have to go up the left here or the right side? It's been so long since I've been up here. I don't know that this is... I don't know that I'm gonna make it here. We made it! I can't believe we did just crash and burn there. Poor Atticus. It would have been un it would have been appropriate for us to crash. <gasps> can't fish! What am I here for? I'm here for an heirloom. There we go. And while I'm here, there is a fossil. Somewhere around here. Might as well snag it. And then I just have a card down here. That is not a rare. Got eight of those. But I think I want to say it is the Mega Tooth that I don't have. That's the rare one. Like the Megalodon Tooth, maybe, is what it's supposed to be. It's like a big tooth. Do, do, do. We shall try not to fall as we endeavor to get to this last card. Time is at 119. I'm getting a little bit hungry. I'm thinking oven roasted veggies today with some couscous. That sounds delicious. I was supposed to make it last night and I was like, you know what? I don't feel like it. This is before the power went out. So I ended up having garden fish fillets, which means they're not really fish, uh, on a sandwich with some, uh, with pickles, with pickle. And this is interesting. You're having a duel out here? I think this is that same posse that was around before. Um, and some mac and cheese. Howdy, friends. Well, they don't seem to be hostile. Always a plus. Gold glitchers? Oh, is that where the one shows up? Yeah. Well, as long as they're minding their own business and leaving me alone, I'm cool with it. <laughs> I don't understand the need to glitch gold in this game. Like, it's so easy to get gold. So, like, I don't get it, but... To each their own. Yeah. I don't care if someone's cheating in a video game if it's only affecting them.
It's okay, buddy. We're almost out of the snow. This is still the prettiest black horse on the game, and I'll fight anybody who says differently. <laughs> the black cloud river is pretty good, too. I hear you. I hear you. I see you. We're steaming. I mean, look at that. Phew. For a solid black horse, man. I'd love a solid black roadster, would be nice. Alright, we'll grab this eagle egg too. Eagle egg and there should be a fossil egg like, right here. Oh, eagle egg's already on the ground. We shall take it. That'll give us four. And... Fossil. Rainbow petrified wood? Oh, I got six of those. I feel like Ron Weasley. I got about ten of him. All right, anything else we want to pick up here before we... Oh, that's right. I need that one last collectible. Uh, so that should... I need that one last heirloom. That will give me... That should give me six. It's probably the metal hairpin, right? Yep, that's the only one that's at five. That'll give me six of those. Tough to get a campsite out here, though. Ah, dag on it. So I slipped. So a while ago, it's like more than a year ago. Like I injured my right knee, and I've spent like the last year sort of rehabbing it. I didn't injure it like ma major, like like nothing where I had to go see an orthopedist. Like I was concerned that something was torn or whatever. Because like in everyday life, it's fine. Um, I can walk fine. It's not it, like it doesn't hurt me. So the only time it's a problem is when I try to like squat. Um, yeah, this is the American standard bread and it's beautiful. I love it. Uh, so like squatting for the last year has been practically impossible um, without pain. And so finally, like last weekend, and, and when I say baby guarded, I mean do some like mobility exercises, like icing it, uh, you know, just kind of like being careful with it sort of a thing. So like a week, like last weekend, um, I finally felt like it felt really good. I did a whole workout. I did like lunges. I did squats. I weighted squats. And I was like, this feels pretty good. Like I didn't have any pain. The next day I didn't have any pain. I was like, this is this fantastic. Like I think finally I've like, rehabbed it back to normal <laughs> and then then the next day after i remember thinking that i was getting ready to go to work in the morning and i was getting ready to leave and i stepped over a stack of books and like hit a dryer sheet that was on the ground slipped forward with my left foot was like slid forward and it caused my right leg my toes to get like stuck up underneath me in the shoe um and I slammed my right knee down onto the hard floor <laughs> and I jammed my fingers up onto my desk a little bit. Like I did, it's not like I fell, fell, but definitely hit my knee on the ground. And it's been pretty bad since then. I was like, damn it. <laughs> it's like, we're starting over. <laughs> it's like, we just got you back to normal. And the problem is I like to sit. And the reason why I say that is because I was just sitting crisscross, like with my right knee bent and it like, doesn't hurt to do that. But then when I go to straighten it, I can feel it. And I know when I go to stand up, it's going to be a little cranky. I like to sit in a pretzel all the time, basically, multiple pretzels, and I'm like, ah, daggone it. I got a baby guarded again. So I've been icing it the last couple days. 
All right, now is this the heirloom or the jewelry? Yes, okay, nice. Uh, yeah, so this is the Black American Standard Bread, absolute beauty. I actually have two Standard Breads in my stables right now. It's probably my, maybe my second favorite breed behind the Roadster. Um, you need a little, here, let's get you gleaming, buddy. Gleaming. Here, have some food while you're at it. I have a cookie. Oh, my hand looks real weird there. That's why I don't like first person. There's not enough light to give you the full effect of this solid black coat, but this is a good, this is such a good horse too. And if you play story, you can get it for free in the wild. Had someone that is like rank 189 say he's gonna get to thousand in three months. That is hilarious. I don't think you. I don't think he probably doesn't realize how hard it is to rank up when you get to higher ranks. So I found a picture from two years ago where I just gotten rank 700 and I'm rank 870 two years later. Now I don't grind as much as I did back then. I don't play as much Red Dead as I did back then and, and grind. Uh, but still, it takes a lot. You have to have. It takes so long to, to rank up at this level. <laughs> it was in Brave Creator Streamer, but yeah, there's literally, there's not enough. There is no phys, unless you're cheating somehow and cheating XP, there's literally not enough. You'd have to play, even if you played every single second of every single day for three months straight, there's not, you would not earn enough XP. Like, I, I just don't, it's phys, like numbers wise is not possible. I mean, to get to a thousand alone is how much? It's like something insane. Like once you hit 999. This game doesn't give enough. You'd have to be doing every triple XP thing out there and like collecting and doing all the stuff that gives you a lot of like XP. Get, like collecting gives you a lot of XP. Um, let's see if I got my thing to pop up. So today in the amount of collecting I've done, like I've gotten over 10,427, 21 XP, because I don't think I was 870 when I started today. So it's like decent XP, but at the same time, like <laughs> I've been grinding every day for the past two years and I'm ranked 702. Yeah, it's just not possible. <laughs> just Even if Red Dead, even if you, you, even if somebody brought you your meals and you had a bathroom right next to your desk and you could continue playing, like I just, yeah, the amount of XP you need to get to a thousand is just not, it's not possible. He had to be trolling because you have to know that. You have to know that there's no possible way. Like it's not, it's not doable. Unless you cheat. I woke up like a month ago and I don't know if I dislocated my shoulder, my sleeper whip, but my shoulder has been messed up since then. Like it feels like I tore every muscle on my shoulder. Today. That sucks. That sucks. Definitely dislocating your shoulder will jack you up for sure, too. Especially depending on like how uh, how bad the dislocation was and how long it takes to like put it back in. Oh, let's go back this way. Are we up on the on the top? Might be up on the top. No, we're here somewhere. There we go. Even glitching, it's not possible. I would, I would think it would have to be like a significant cheat. Like, yeah, not glitching, but like an actual cheat cheat. <laughs> ah, max amount of the bone arrowhead. Come on, I just need the raw arrowhead. So cruel. All right, I'm going to go try for one more arrowhead spot and two more dig spots. Let's see if we can come on raw arrowhead. Let's get one rare thing today. Get one more collection potentially. Come on. A raw arrowhead, gold quarter, drape, silver bus, whatever, or the gold dollar. Come on. Come on. Uh, to be honest, I don't grind for levels anymore. I grind for gold money. If anything else, uh, now once you reach... Yeah, there's literally no... Once you reach 100... There's literally no point or benefit to going up any higher levels other than you just want to get the levels. Like you just want to be like, oh, I've, I've, that's like my goal is like to go. There's nothing wrong if your goal is to get to a thousand um, or if you're grinding for that. There's just no benefit to you. Like there's no difference between a hundred and a thousand in terms of you don't get anything else. You don't unlock anything else. There's nothing prestigious about it. 
Um, it's literally just, I know people that are at rank thousand that started playing a couple years after I did because just all they do is play this game and grind for XP. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just for me, this game isn't, I don't need, if I never went, if they were like, oh, we're not going to give you any more levels, you're 870 till the end of time, I'd be fine with that. Like, I, I play to relax. I, I, I do grind gold money because um, I like to see how high I can get those numbers. Um, but like otherwise there's just like I don't I don't grind XP. I don't look and see what's on I've never have uh been like what's on triple XP. Uh can I hop in on this wagon so I can get the XP? Like can we do missions so I can get the XP? Like I've just never been I've just never been that way. Cause for me the XP doesn't isn't after again, after a hundred isn't uh necessary. The only time I think about it is if uh like when an outlaw pass would drop or a quick draw pass and I wanted to rank that up. It's like the only time I think about XP. Yeah. Oh Atticus, you're doing so good today, buddy. I feel like a couple times like you maybe should have fallen, but you haven't. My main is 485 is trying to hit that 500 mark. Nice. I think the next highest account after this one is in the 300s or 400s. I'll have to look and see what Gypsy Knight is. Um, I've got a couple counts in the hundreds, like pushing 200. Gypsy and I would probably be the next highest one. She might be in the 400s, but yeah. Now, if they said you got a new stable every 100 levels, I'd be grinding my ass off 100%. <laughs> I'd be grinding. I'd be like, give me those levels. Give me all the XP. I need them stables. Be collecting my ass off. Collecting really does give you some of the best XP. Is that a grizzly and a black bear hanging out together? We are in danger. I am in danger. You interrupted their picnic. They were, they were having a little rendezvous. I'm sorry. I interrupted sexy times between the bears. <laughs> you were probably going a little more wholesome with that and I went straight to not wholesome. Sorry about that. <laughs> Apologies, my bad. I interrupted their very nice family picnic. Come on, raw airhead, let's go. Come on, come on, you could do it. Come on, baby. I think I got this coin already. I just didn't mark it off. Ah, 1792 quarter. Boo. All right, I'm going to double check, but I think that I got this coin when I was in the planes. Let's just give it a, let's give it a good old double check. That happened to me years ago. I wake up and my arm was dislocated. It was the worst pain I had in uh, years, but you popped it back in yourself. Oof. I can't even imagine. Cannot even imagine. Oh, hey, Thomas, I think you were the one talking about Stellar Blade the other day, right? I did actually download the demo and I played a little bit of it. It is interesting. I didn't dislike it. It is a very expensive game, though, though. I didn't realize it hadn't actually dropped yet, so I probably wouldn't pick it up right away, but it was intriguing. I didn't finish the demo. Like, I think I had more time I could have played. Uh, but it, the little bit I played wasn't bad. All right, I think I've gotten all the things that I want to get. Yep. <laughs> Braytech says I'll play it for the story. Sure you will. First thing I remember thinking uh, when she first hopped out, first of all, I was like, is she wearing a top? Um, and then I was like, girl, that outfit is not very fighter friendly. <laughs> like if, if you're going to be like doing some... Uh, kicking ass like you can pop out of it okay you are not strapped down uh i'm just saying <laughs> there's a lot of jiggle 
mechanics and effects like in the game and i'm just like that's excessive <laughs> unnecessarily excessive uh dead by daylight years ago needed to work on some bug fixes and instead of implementing some very much needed bug fixes what they did was they added jiggle physics to the female characters when they're running like when they're especially when they're leaving the lot like the end scene when they're running away like they've escaped or they've died or whatever and i was like but i don't i don't know that that was the best use of your resources <laughs> to add <laughs> jiggle mechanics to the female character's breasts i'm not, i don't know i'm just going out on a limb i'm just going out on a limb. i'm just saying i'm just saying there's a lot wrong with your game right now i don't know that that was the best use of your resources so like we'll do this and people will just like forget about the bugs <laughs> they'll be focused on the jiggle mechanics Oh my goodness, it's crazy. Boys just don't understand. <laughs> what the hell exactly? I was like, um, I don't think you needed to add that behavior. I don't, I don't think you needed to have that. Uh, but this game, yeah, there's there, there's some, uh, yeah. There's there's some mechanics there. Gonna play story mode on free aim. Nice. Uh, the most I don't really like to play on free aim, but uh, I'll do like no minimap stuff, which is kind of fun. Um, guys, I am super hungry and I need to study for this test. So I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. She needs a very supportive support as far. Yes, exactly. I don't think guys understand how much it hurts. If you can if you can see them wiggling like that, like that shit hurts sometimes. Like maybe not all the time, but like sometimes or a lot of times. Just depends on when. Uh, I'm just I'm just saying, you know, it doesn't feel good. The girls need some support. OK, all right. Uh, you, you might like the way it looks, but okay, it don't feel too good. <laughs> um, I am going to wrap it up. I'm going to go study. I'm going to get some food. Um, I will probably not stream again this week. Next week will probably be very light as well as I finish up this class. Um, so I might not be back on again until next Saturday, but we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping to get one midweek stream in if I can. Um, but I will play it by ear and see how that goes. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all of your support. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and I will chat with everybody soon. Bye guys.